Hey y'all, so I know I said I was gonna do a review on this book, XOXO by Axie O. I have read this like a month ago, and I'm finally getting ready, trying to calm myself down to do the review on this book. Interestingly enough, I chose this book because it was similar to my concept of my book. Um, I feel a lot better about my book now after reading this. Um, I'm gonna try. I wrote down some good feedback from the book so I'm gonna start with that first always but to give you like a brief overview of this book it's basically about Jenny who's a cello player cello cello I'm, I'm gonna mess it up she plays instrument and she ends up moving to Seoul to help her grandmother her grandmother is older and she has to undergo surgery for something and she moves to Seoul for like a couple months I think to help her grandmother and that's when she ends up by, uh, well, running into this famous K, uh, K-pop, yeah, K-pop idol. Um, he goes to the same school as her in Seoul, and she had met him in LA. They're encountering each other again at the school, and the whole thing goes on because they want to be together, but he's an idol and he has a lot at stake. Simple. So, for my great advice on the book, writing style of this book, I know it's, it's a YA, so it's supposed to be simple and clear and easy to read which it really was it was simple and clear and easy to read although there was wait i'm gonna leave the bad stuff out it was simple easy to read i really like the um comedic writing style that she had with the characters in her dialogue the character was somewhat realistic in a way i can relate to her she said things that i guess us as readers wouldn't expect someone to say like her decisions were like wow she actually made that decision and it was kind of like a mature decision for it being a YA like her being in high school or whatnot I was like wow that's really mature so I like that part certain decisions she made were a little mature for her age but not too drastically it was kind of like shocking in a way also her character showed that nobody is perfect you know we all make mistakes when we want something when we are lacking in a certain area and we're finally getting it it really her character jenny really shows us that the lengths we would go and things we would risk and sacrifice just to you know fulfill our needs that we think we are lacking um which was jenny with her having the time of her life with her friends and her popular boyfriend her popular idol boyfriend actually okay i'm looking for any more good stuff i had right i really like one specific scene it's only because i'm really inspired by the scene i'm like this was great it really showed the distance in their relationship jenny and her boyfriend which was a popular idol they had like a mob scene where there was like a whole bunch of fans and they were trying to rush out before like oh, am i spoiling it's not that much of a spoiler but they were trying to escape and i just really like the scene because it really shows how fans can be crazy and it's overwhelming for both of them and the boyfriend which his name is jay woo jay woo i don't know if i'm saying it right but he's just trying to like i don't know be with his girlfriend i would want to say be with his classmate uh it's it's his classmate to everybody else but secretly they're dating he's just trying to be with his classmate and he's scared of rumors so they have to hide and do all this like chasing sequence getting chased by their fans so i really like that scene i really like jay woo's internal struggle i know some readers can relate to jay woo's um circumstance he had a relatable circumstance i i feel for him because i don't know if i should get into it but basically he is the face of his company and he has a lot at stake if something goes wrong so it's kind of hard for him to be in these like situations like getting caught having scandals whatnot it's a great character development um plot that he was trying to overcome throughout the entire story now on to the bad stuff okay five minutes into this and i did not get the bad stuff okay i know i said it was a ya but the writing style was very like simple she didn't do much like over the top descri descriptions really i wasn't i wasn't immersed in the two main characters lives i mean what i was interested in seeing was more of their interactions but i don't know in my opinion we didn't get their interactions that much and if we did it was a simple like kissing scene or kind of talking about school 
I don't know. I, I think one of them were talking about school. One of them, they didn't even like talk. It was like him trying to say, I want to talk to you. And then when he said, I want to talk to you, it was just to ask her out. So like, we didn't get that connection. Maybe like it's too deep for YA to have a connection with our characters, but I just didn't get that. Also, the main goal, I, I was conflicted about whether what goal was the main character was having i know the goal was to like get into her famous school right but the whole time she wasn't focused on her playing her instrument and practicing and doing that like she wasn't focused on the goal which was like the whole point right she was stirred off because she was worried about her friends and her boyfriend but we should have saw some in there that was her actually playing her instrument seeing her have intimate time with herself trying to you know talking to herself saying okay i need to get into school i'm interested in getting into the school just got like real dark she went there to seal to take care of her grandmother but we only saw her grandmother like two three times really so i would have liked to have seen her uh, like actually taking care of her grandmother because her grandmother was just in the hospital the entire time so if we saw her taking care of her grandmother and dealing with school and trying to balance her little festivities with her boyfriend secret boyfriend and her friends i want a bit more like an actual conflict because my other point is the story lacked conflict like actual like real conflict the only real conflict was that she had to hide well her friends knew sort of but she had to hide her interactions with jay woo so they a scandal or something rumors don't start that was the only real, only real conflict but there was one scene where there was out driving in a convertible and they said it was his hometown so he paparazzi was less frequent over there but if it was his hometown wouldn't it be more frequent i'm gonna skip some of it because i have a whole bunch and this video can go on forever but the end did not do justice for their relationship at all to not spoil it like they like met up and he was about to perform a big show and there was no like ending hug kiss like all these scenes like intimate intimate scenes that were before like we couldn't have got something at the end like and i wasn't really excited for her to see him at all i'm not gonna lie i was but then when it happened i was like this is not giving me justice like this is not doing anything like they didn't seem as excited to see each other at the end i feel like i'm spoiling it but it was black it was no there was barely any as i said their internal dialogue it wasn't thoughtful it wasn't the writer tried to make it thoughtful but it was it was high school, which, you know, maybe I haven't read enough YA books to understand this is what I'm going to get. But you guys should read it for yourself. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating. Maybe I'm, I'm not reading it properly, but I'm definitely going to reread it just to, like, I've started highlighting certain things I like and certain things to point out in the book. Also, there were some grammatical errors. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, books aren't, I know some books aren't perfect, but the amount of, like, confusing sentences, I was like, what? Why, why, is, why is this sentence confusing? I'm gonna just let y'all know that. If you see something that doesn't make sense, it probably doesn't make sense. Um, there's nothing else for me to fit in here. I do suggest you give it a read, because, you know, maybe some people uh like different things and i definitely like books with strong internal dialogue and really descript like strong descriptions especially as i'm a writer and i'm learning myself i need to learn how to do things like that so i also got this book for it was a library book so i'm not too disappointed definitely give it a read xoxo by axio i hope you guys enjoy it